What's up guys? I often get questions from viewers just like you about what equipment I use on a daily basis for productivity, for gaming, for video editing, anything in between. I also get questions like, what is that little trinket thing on your desk? And what headphones do you use? So I figured what I would do is put together a video for you guys showing you exactly how I've gone about crafting what I think for me is the perfect gaming and professional setup. Got one of these and need to know how to cool it? Check out Enermax's all new Liftech TR42 series of coolers. Featuring a full cover copper base plate, rubber vibration dampening radiator pads, and an all new block top design with addressable RGBs, the Liftech is designed specifically for the new Threadripper 2 series of CPUs and comes in both 240 and 360 millimeter flavors. Check out the link in the video description to learn more. In a completely unoriginal move, I've decided to base my battle station on a non-traditional computer desk constructed of IKEA countertops. This seems to be a favorite of many tech YouTubers, as they're sturdy, spacious, and you can configure them however you'd like with different length pieces and adjustable height legs. I have one 8-foot length and one 6-foot length, with a narrow 4-foot riser set back diagonally into the corner that adds some additional space. I have the table legs spaced out such that they don't interfere when I'm swiveling my chair between setups. I also try to maintain as little cable clutter as possible. The centerpiece of my main workstation is of course the PC tower. This is likely the most powerful system I've ever built and it's just about the best moderately reasonable solution for Adobe Premiere video editing that you can piece together in late 2018. It rocks a 7980XE, 64 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro DDR4, an MSI Duke 2080 Ti, an Asus Prime X299 Deluxe motherboard, and all the RGB you can cram into the Lian Li PC011 Dynamic. The Night King Riding Viserion tops things off. To the right of our tower sits a 20 terabyte USB 3.1 Type-C RAID array, which currently stores all of the BPS Customs video archives. My peripherals of choice include the spiciest keyboard I've ever laid eyes on, the Corsair K70 RGB Mark II SE. This thing just slays in both the looks and performance department with Cherry MX speed switches and dedicated volume and media keys to go along with the awesome brushed aluminum frame and top plate and illuminated RGB Corsair logo sitting dead center. The white and gray color palette matches the PC-011 case perfectly and the double shot keycaps feel pretty amazing to type on. Sitting next to the K70 is the new-ish Corsair Dark Core RGB mouse. This has replaced my longtime favorite Logitech G602 due to its super comfortable textured surface and swappable thumb rest. It's also a really nice weight and the easy DPI adjustments come in handy when working in a complicated Adobe Premiere timeline. Underneath the mouse, you can catch a glimpse of the new Cooler Master MP750 XL, a soft surface, three foot long, full desk mat with configurable RGB illuminated edges. I've also modified a spot on the upper right corner by removing the underlying foam and attaching a Qi charging pad, meaning that I can easily juice up either my mouse or my phone whenever needed. My main display hasn't changed in about two years now, and that's because no matter how many others I try, I always go back to the Dell 3415W, a 1440p IPS ultrawide that's perfect for color accurate video edits. Sitting atop the Dell is the venerable Logitech C920 webcam, which I use almost exclusively for Skype calls. Live streaming is done here, but I use one of my Sony cameras for the video feed since the quality is so much better. Audio punch is provided by the Sound Blaster X Katana, which sits at a perfect height right under my monitor, and of course provides an additional blast of downfiring RGB lighting, as all peripherals should. Next to the monitor, we find the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, a high quality USB audio interface that allows me to use an XLR microphone for voiceovers. That microphone is the Rode NT1A, and it's mounted to the Heil PL2T articulating arm, as you see here. The arm attaches behind a monitor and is normally tucked away against the wall, but can be pivoted out and positioned right over my keyboard when needed. I've also rigged up a sound isolating foam panel that hangs down behind the mic and prevents it from picking up any sound reflections from the wall or monitor while I'm speaking. A neat accessory that I use for lighting myself while recording at my computer is the Viltrox L116T LED panel mounted to a Gator framework stand. The LED panel can be adjusted between 20 and 100% brightness, and the color tone set from 3300K to 5600K. Mounted underneath the desk is a combo USB 3.0 hub and multi-card reader that I use for offloading all of my footage, as well as a pair of my favorite headphones, the One More Triple Driver Over-Ear. I basically only use the headphones while editing, as they're not meant 
meant for gaming, and I really don't have much time to do that anyway. On the desk under the monitor stand, there are a trio of neat gadgets. An Echo Dot is helpful for alarms, reminders, and simple searches. The Lemetric Clock can be used as a Bluetooth speaker to check the weather, stock or crypto prices, and any number of simple user-generated applications, but in the name of vanity, I always just have it displaying my YouTube sub count. Next to that, we see the Elgato Stream Deck, which I use all the time in OBS and Adobe Premiere. Additional decorations include, from left to right, a limited edition deck of playing cards from the Wynn in Las Vegas, my SUNY Stony Brook mug, my alma mater, a completely real Bitcoin that I offer to sell people all the time, a Star Wars R2-D2 mug that my wife got me, a coffee mug from Kaname that looks like a fairly convincing Canon 24-105 lens, a mini build-it-yourself cardboard version of the Cooler Master Mastercase Pro 6, and of course, to balance out the Night King, we have Daenerys riding Drogon. I won't focus too much on the other portion of my setup because this is where I do my 9-5, to but I'm set up pretty well over here with dual HP 23-inch monitors on a twin monitor arm, my laptop sitting on a dock to make it easy to grab and go when I'm on work travel, my favorite picture from our wedding, and peripherals from Cooler Master and Logitech. The Master Keys Pro L uses my second favorite switch, Cherry Reds, and the MX Master Mouse is a traditional favorite for productivity work. I recently called the Noble Chairs Hero the best gaming chair on the market, and you can see that I put my money where my mouth is. Or rather, put my butt where my mouth is. That, that's not right. Moving on. So that's it guys, that is how I bring you the YouTube videos that you have grown to know and love, or to hate and just watch anyway so you could leave nasty comments. But either way, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your home desk setup looks like, what you liked about mine, maybe you took some inspiration from it, or maybe you hated it and you think I should change something. But either way, thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys as always, and I will see you next time.